Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here with the Holy Roller playing craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise. And I'm on a cruise right now. The casino's closed. I brought some dice. Let's roll. Welcome to the Holy Roller where it's all about playing craps, earning free cruises, and a whole lot more. Thanks for watching. Now let's get rolling. All right, let's roll. I'm going to do some practice rolls. I like to come to the casino and, uh, and I brought uh, two different colored dice and I'll explain why in just a second, but let's go, let's do this. Today we're gonna to be rolling on some dice and I'm going to be practicing some rolls before the casino opens. And I've seen people do this even when the casino is open, but the craps table is not open. So that's something to keep in mind that just because the casino is open doesn't mean the craps table is open. I've seen people bring their own dice and actually uh, practice rolling and the dealers are so okay with it. Now, what you can't do is record uh, when the casino is open. So that's why I'm doing it right now. All right. So uh, basically the reason why I'm doing two die is because I want to be able to see if these dice are going to react the way I want them. So ideally um, with this set that I'm going to be doing, uh, it's a one, two, three, one, and it has a four, it has a three, it has a six, and it has a five, um, or sorry, 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 four, three, 10, and yo, okay, 11. So, what I would like to see on this, on this side dice is I'd like to see a one, two, five, or six, okay? And uh, same thing on this side, but we'll be able to see if they're reacting the same. Now, if they both react the same and we got a one and a three, then we're gonna have a four. Now, if it if it is this other side where, uh, like say uh, this one doesn't have a three on it, but this one does. Now say this has a three and that has a one, then it's like, okay, uh, something, something went wrong. And so we'll talk about that. Not necessarily wrong, but it's just something happened. And so we'll talk about what happened. All right. Here we go. Let's see if I can get a four, three, uh, 11, uh, or 10. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go like this and I'm gonna roll it. It has to hit the back wall and it did. And it's a seven. Okay. A seven. So what happened was <laughs> now this one actually landed pretty good. I don't know if you noticed, but the three, one, that one actually landed pretty good. This one didn't, this one, as a four, it, it, what happened? So it was like this, right? Uh, let's see, let me turn that. So it was one, two, three, one. So it was like this, okay? Now what happened was this one landed like that. Um, this one went like this. So it landed, but just like that and made it a seven. So what that would be called is an explosion. X is out, an explosion. So we did land with these on the top, like we, like we threw them, like this, right? But we had, and if it was on this side, it would be uh, an implosion, okay? So you could, you can, uh, because I did throw it like that, it actually was an implosion, so not an explosion. So here we go one more time. I hope this makes sense. So. When you throw it, this, what happened with this, is it imploded, it turned in. We want them to react the same, so this would be, uh, we want them to react the same by going like that and maybe not spinning more, okay? That's kind of what we want, okay? So let's try it again, because here's, here's the same set right here. We're gonna do the same set, and we're gonna see if we can get uh, that not to happen again. Uh, but we'll find out, we'll find out. Here we go. And this time we did get the three one to land correctly again. So this die is, is landing like it should, right? Now this one, you see this. So what this one did, it had one more rotation. See that right there? So it landed like that. So that's why we got a five. Now, uh, so that's where it's nice to have the two different colored dice so you can see what's happening because this one, both rolls, it landed the way we threw it. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. All right, let's try it one more time. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try it one more time. 
See if we can get a four, three, 11, or a 10. Now that one, okay, let's look. Let's look and see what happened. All right, so this one actually rotated one more than it should, right? So it rotated one more because it has a one on the top. This one actually had the, what do you call that? The implosion, right? So that's why we had a five. Now these aren't bad numbers necessarily, but both of these dice didn't, didn't land the way we threw them. So, so let's try it one more time. So the idea is holding the dice, and I'm not an expert at this. Uh, I'm just somebody that's trying, okay? I think it's worth trying. So, so here we go, we have that same set. One, two, three, one. I want my dice in the air to stay together, to land together, to hit the back wall and react together so that if they react the same way, I should get one of these numbers. That's all I'm saying, okay? I can't say that I could get a four, like, oh, I'm gonna roll a four right now. I just think the probability of rolling one of these and missing the, the bad number, you know, would be great. All right, let's see. I'm actually gonna hold it this time. I'm gonna try to throw it in the air and see what happens. Here we go. So that one is the two, it, it's kind of the same thing almost happened, but so you have this one, okay? So it imploded again. Sorry, it's on this side, it exploded, right? And this one, just one more rotation. So it just had one more rotation. So that's how we threw them. So this one had a uh, four, right? Maybe it was, uh, sorry, I missed up. I'm, I missed what the point was. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to rewind the video. All right, here we go, let's try this again. We wanna see if we can get these dice to uh, react in the air. And the thing is, I tried to get it where I'm showing you in the air. We want them to stay together until they hit the wall or hit the ground and they wanna barely hit the wall. Let's see, let's see if I can film this and do it at the same time. Here we go. No, it's very hard to do that. <laughs> it's very hard. Uh, okay, so what happened with this one? Let's see. So this one was right here and it was like that. So. It rotated one more over. And this one, uh, where we started, was it rotated twice. So uh, so it rotated twice, and this one rotated once, so that's why we got that. All right, uh, so let's, let's try it again. And this time I'm going to, I'm gonna try to just hold the, I'm actually gonna try to just put the camera up a little bit so maybe you can see them in the air. Okay, here we go. So I take it down here. I know you can't see it. Then I go like this. I'm gonna throw it. Here we go. So that one is the two and this one is the one. Okay, so let's see what happened because of that. Um, uh, we did get a three, that's what we wanted, right? Um, this one was the three one, right? So it would be like that. Right, so it rolled one over, it pitched forward, and it imploded to give the two. I don't know, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so this one, what happened is, uh, it looks like it actually landed on the top that it was supposed to land, it just kind of spun this way. So these, these ways don't really matter that much, at least to me. <laughs> All right, so, so that's, so again, this rotated one and imploded. Okay, so it rotated one and imploded. So rotated one and imploded. We got our three. But we would have liked to see a three like this with the two and the one. But we got our three, which is nice. All right, here we go, let's try it again. I'm gonna put this up again, just like we just did. And we'll see, we'll see how, this, how this reacts again. Here we go. 12, midnight. All right, so again, let's see what happened here. What happened? All right, so uh, looks like uh, this one uh, had a, sorry. 
double, double pitch forward, right? And then uh, because this was this one, it looks like it had a, like it, it, uh, it could have been uh, one, two, three pitches forward, or it could have just had a one pitch back like that. All right. I hope this makes sense. Oh my goodness. Uh, like I said, I'm not a pro. There's people that are better at this that can explain it better, but I'm just kind of showing you how I'm trying to do it. I don't know if you see in the air, but the dice are just kind of, they are separating, but I want them to stay close and I want them to uh, just not really spin in the air because I want them to land and then just do whatever they do together. Uh, as long as they have react the same. So there's different ways people hold the dice. So sometimes people, like I do, I hold like this. Some people will hold like this. Uh, some people will kind of hold like this with just, just right there in the middle like that. Or, or maybe like, see, I can't do all that. But anyway, I, I just kind of hold them together. So I think this is called a claw grip or something or whatever. I don't know. The claw. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So good quality numbers, by the way. Um, but let's see what happened. All right, so here is the the pitch that happened, right? So you can see the 10, so it's one backwards. And then this one, you can see, it looks like it was an explosion. See that? So that's what happened. All right. So, all right, one more roll, and then we'll see. Uh, let's see uh, if we can get it with one more roll. All right. Now that one hit the wall first, and you never want to hit the wall first. That is a three, three. So yeah, you never want to hit the wall first. I'm gonna show you exactly where I'm shooting and trying to throw. So I'm trying to hit like right here. And the reason why I'm trying to hit right here is because if people have pass line with odds, they're going to be having their money right here. So I wanna hit right behind their money, barely hit the wall and then stop. I don't want a lot of rolling around. Some people, they try to hit right here and bounce over any money that's here. So they try to hit and let it bounce over, then hit the wall. Um, but for me, uh, that's this is how I do it. So we do have, uh, one rotation, or no, sorry. Uh, we do have a six on top, so that's actually good. Okay, this is the one that uh, that didn't, it looks like it just rotated, uh, you know, just one, just like that, because it actually was that explosion. And that's what we had. So, like I said, these don't really matter that much, but so that's what kind of happened there. Um, so let's see, let's get this set up again. I said one more, but for reals this time, we'll do one more and then we're gonna be done with this video. All right, watch this. You might say, Brian, why do you use that set? Well, the reason why I use this set is because there's only two ways to make this. Uh, there's only two ways to make a three. There's only, uh, you know, three ways to make a four and 10, but this, it's either gonna be a six, four or four, or four, six, right? And then same thing, only two ways to make a yo, and that's why I try to do this set just to really, cause you could do, um, you could do like a six, eight set uh, where it would, you'd be like, maybe you do it like this where you have the eight, the eight, the six and the six. So I should get sixes and eights with this one. But if it rolls like this, there's a six. If it rolls backwards, there's a nine. You know, so like, that's one way to think about it. So I could do that one. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, so here, this would be called a, this would be called a, a four, two, four, six. All right, so here, let's see what happens with this one. Will I get a six or an eight? Uh, 
we're about to find out. <laughs> nope. Whoa, what happened with that? <laughs> All right, so anyway, that's why I bring an extra set of dice just to practice my rolls and uh, get ready for the night tonight because we'll hopefully make some money and be on our way to a free cruise. Usually it takes me two sessions at Craps to have a free cruise. Now that it's 800 points for a free cruise, I will definitely have a free cruise after this first night. Basically, simple as that. All right, and that's why I like Craps, playing Craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise. Subscribe if you would, and don't forget to uh, watch this video if you want to see more. And I hope to see you cruising and rolling on a Craps table soon. See ya!